So make sure this is quarter two. We just now officially, like, it started on Friday, but our, for our fire review, we have quarter two, week one, and it's Monday. Some of you pulled out last quarter's packet to help you with today's fire review. That's why you keep it, because you can go back and look for some of those things for help. So I have a negative 36, 8 equals a yeah. negative 4, 6. Thank you. I thought you had walked around. And then so I have a negative 36 divided by 8. It is not 8 divided by 36. It's always numerator divided by denominator. 8 goes into 36 four times. Which is 32, four left, add a decimal. Bring the decimal up, add a zero, bring the zero down. 8 goes into 45 times. So, and this is a negative, so it would be a negative 4.5, so they are <laughs> equal. I already said equal to begin with, didn't I? Gave it away. Number two, 39 equals 3m minus 12. At this point in the game, you should have and be able to do these. So you're going to draw your line. I'm going to box up my 3M because I'm not moving that. Now, I am moving the negative 12. So it's really going to be a positive 12 on both sides. So those cancel each other out. 39 and 12 make 51. So I have 51 equals 3M. Box your M. Then divide by 3. Divide by 3. Let's say I don't know 51 divided by 3, so I come over here and I just do 51 divided by 3. There's nothing wrong with that. And I bring that down, 3 goes into 21 seven times. So M equals 17, or 17 equals M. How many of you got it right? Okay, I should be seeing more hands, but that's more than what we started with. I subtract and you say that. Three. We need to find the greatest common factor of 18A, 20AB, and 6 a, B. You can do it by the factor tree. You can figure it out by doing like 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, 1 and 20, 2 and 4 and 5, 1 and 2 and 3. Don't forget that I'm now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add my letters. I got an A. I got an A, B, and I got an A, B. Circle the only one they have in common, which is the twos and the A's. If you can get this without doing all of this work consistently, you don't have to show all the work. Number four, 6X plus 2 times the quantity 3x minus 9y plus 5 plus a negative 9. This is a problem that is just following the orders of operations. I always say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, you guys like to do chem docs. It does not matter. But when you follow the order of operations, you have to do the parentheses, which is the distributive property. So just bring down the 6x. Now, when I do the distributive property, you take the sign in front. So I have a positive 2 times a positive 3, which would make a positive 6x. Then I take the positive 2 times a negative 9. What's 2 times 9? 18. 18, but one's negative, so I need to say a negative 18y. Then I have a positive 2 times a positive 5, which becomes a positive 10. Plus 
plus a negative 9. Now I'm going to combine what I have in common. Positive 6 and a positive 6 makes a positive 12. 12x. Does, do I have anything to go with the, no. anything with y? No, so it just stays, negative 18y. A positive 10 and a negative 9. Negative you subtract, it's 1 and it's going to stay negative positive because the bigger number is positive. If you got number four right. Okay, so there should be a lot of markings on your paper. Five, six x plus nine minus sixteen x equals a negative twenty one. Draw your line. Now I have a positive six x and a negative 16x. I want to combine those first together. So if one's positive, one's negative, I subtract. So it's 16 minus six, it'd be negative 10x, excellent. And bring down the nine. And bring out everything else I haven't used. Then I box up my negative 10x. 